To give the answer, we can basically work on converting the units from amps, or coulombs per second, to meters per second. Notice we already have seconds in the denominator, so we need to work on converting coulombs to meters in order to get meters per second. Starting with one amp, which is equivalent to one coulomb per second, we can convert the coulombs to the number of electrons by dividing by E, the charge of each electron, the third item in our list. So one electron is equivalent to E coulombs. Let me put in parentheses anything that stands for units. Now we have electrons per second, because we have coulombs over coulombs, and that will cancel. Then we can use the second item in our list, the density of the electrons, n. What's given to us is the density of electrons per meter cubed. But we're interested in the number of electrons flowing down the wire. If we multiply by n, the density of the electrons, by the cross-sectional area of the wire, then we'll be left with the number of electrons flowing in just one direction, down the wire. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to multiply n electrons per meter cubed, and now we're going to deal with the meters cubed divide by the area, the cross-sectional area of the wire. And this is equal to UE, or the speed of the electrons, in meters per second. You can see the units work out. If we do this calculation, we'll get a value of UE is equal to 2.3 times 10 to the minus 6 meters per second. And that's about equivalent to 0 0.14 millimeters per minute. So is this very fast or very slow? Well, 0.14 millimeters per minute is very slow for an electron when we're talking about signals propagating at nearly the speed of light down a wire. In other words, if you were to tag an electron at the beginning of the transmission line, it may take months or even years for it to reach the other end of the transmission line.